They only listen to third wave simp shakes. Third wave simp shayuk. That's all they listen to. Those that like to knit in videos. Boys need to learn how to knit sweaters. They only listen to those. Because they carry the narrative. A woman's duty is not to clean the house or to cook your food. She is not your slave. She is your wife. Her job is to sit around, lay around on her ever widening butt and watch love and hip hop until you get home. And if you want someone to clean the house or cook you a meal, hire a maid. That's what they say. These third wave simp shiuch is what this is what they say. I'll marry the maid. You, my dear, are divorced. I'll marry the maid. I'll marry the maid. When we know basically a woman's duty is to obey her husband, except in matters that are haram. Except in matters that are haram. He's not asking her to pick up anything too heavy because he must help her with it. He's not asking her to put herself in danger or in uh, gender uh, gender dangerous situations like like the two girls that were wa trying to water the sheep and the men were bullying them at the water hole. And Musa Leslam walked up, he saw this, and he said, I'll water the sheep for you. See, this is a man's world. And yes, it wouldn't be nothing without a woman's touch. To quote the late Sheikh James Brown. Yes, a woman's touch is very much needed, but not her leadership. Not her leadership. Not her bossiness, not her masculinity. Let us be masculine. Let us be toxically masculine. And you be toxically feminine. And that marriage will last forever if Allah Ta'ala wills.